Welcome back. Thirsty Thursdays, is that what it's called? Once again. Yeah, I think we're, we're at the point now where, do we have to call it Thirsty Thursday? I think everybody should know what we're doing. Yeah, welcome to what It's we not do. just two Asian guys <laughs> sitting drinking beer. It's thirsty Thursdays is what it is. Yeah. Before we get to our important phone call, I just want to make one little note that there is the Freedom Throwdown coming up. On the weekend. Yep, so be Just sure to check that out if you're looking for something to do in North Balfour and you're into the snowboard thing. So what's great about that is our Battle Axe North Balfour division is helping put it on, but Freedom is headlining the whole event and it'll be in the Freedom parking lot. I guess yeah. they bring in a bunch of snow, I'm told. Yeah, and from so the, they truck it in. And from the rinks in Saskatoon, so they got they build themselves some snow jumps, roll-ins and... It's almost like a half pipe thing, I'm told, so I've yet to check it out. That's uh, for all the people that are so eager for snow, they can't wait for it, so. Gotta just roll with the punches. So. That's what we did last week. If you want to watch the video last week, right there, but we rolled with the punches because we tried <laughs> to phone a lot of people. Nobody answered their phone. Yeah. Well, Let's try again. Yeah. Phone call? And this one's a really important phone call, as we said. It's Rocco. Rocco, yeah, the, the boss. The boss man. We're going to call the boss. And so Mr. we'll Rocco. see. We hit the phone. Hello? Hello? Can, Can you hear us? Not really. Why are you guys really? Not really? <laughs> Alright, how about now? No, way better. Way better? Yeah. Alright, perfect. Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> you guys doing happy? Just, uh, we were talking about these... Our division's helping out with this freedom throwdown that they're doing in North Battleford coming up in a couple of weeks. So, they, uh, okay. freedom's a couple days. It's well, a, yeah, yeah, they're uh, bringing in snow from Saskatoon, and then they're going to make a little yeah. small half pipe here in North Battleford, and they're going to do a quick event in the afternoon. And okay. yeah, bring their snowboards out. So what day you guys uh, it'll be in a couple of days, actually. I mean, we're. We're not live now, so let's say October 8th, I think is the day. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's what they're aiming for. Maybe the 7th. We would get confirmation okay. later. So this is the event that Saskatchewan and Alfred puts on, or is this something that you guys get yourself involved in? Uh, we just help out with the skate and snow shop in uh, North Battleford, hosts it, and we're just yeah. lending a hand, our division is. Because a lot of our members are huge snowboarders. They they love the yeah, snow. Jo uh, yeah, jo Josh is pretty involved with that Freedom Skate and Snow Shop and the, t and the ski hill here. So. Even when you guys are doing this show, you picture everything from the show, you know, everything. Yeah. Even we are artists of all forms, we're doing positive things, crazy things. I mean, you have to come to these nothing people complain about the snow and the ice and the snow and the us what they want us to ask them so we know more about what's going on in their life 
if they're bringing out an album or going to be part of a show or they're going to be part of something coming up or what they've done. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's best, it's best that you guys give us the questions so we know exactly what to ask. So we're covering your art form, your lifestyle, we're marketing you. We're letting the world understand this is a global member. This is what he does or she does. So that's what we'll be doing. We're just getting everything lined up for um, like the first or the tenth of October. We start up. I want to have it on Skype. Oh, yeah. You guys are talking about the same thing. I do have a channel, but it's on my computer. So today I have Neil come back with the courts. And what I'm going to try this weekend is try to hook it up and hook it up to Skype and see if I can have it on the TV. And I don't want to watch the little TV. I want to when I do an interview. I'm being filmed interviewing the person on my TV screen. Yeah. So we yeah. have to see it. It's more live. It's more. It's more personal instead of on the fucking phone that we were doing, right? Yeah. So we just gotta work together. So yeah. I'm done. Blah blah blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, when you mentioned that about the TV thing, we do have a TV in here, and we're working towards that. I was talking with my brother. Say. Since we're, we're, since we're in such a small town and stuff, we're going to work more on, uh, like you say, with the video interviewing, we got a TV we'll place between us and then we'll make it a little more personal. That, that was an idea we had too. We're just working towards, working towards that also. And uh, yeah, other than that, that would be pretty neat to get this, just network with, we should all be networking with each other a little better to get, get the information out there. I agree with that. That's a good idea. I think basically we sit here, we have a drink, and bring you into our world for a moment. We yeah. do a little taste test. We just kind of plug some local brew of some sorts, and then uh, we just interview members and how they became a member or why they're a member. And then we kind of been branching solely away from members to just other people in our lives that have been a big impact in our lives or that we know that want to share their story a little bit. How many episodes you guys started? Oh. The one that we're recording now with you will be number 17. Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the first few were pretty rough. Yeah, you're, you're better off joining now. <laughs> this is the one we got the ball rolling. It's like you come over to a buddy's house and, you, and a bullshit session happens and you get to know yeah. him a little better. Is what it is. Yeah, I see, the, I see the, the set that you guys are working on, which I think is pretty cool. It reminds me when I was younger, we used to hang out in the garage or a basement with a couch and everything. We had TV in the corner. And it was, you know, drinking beer. Yeah. It was in the ghetto. It was part of the ghetto. It was the neighborhood. We had an area called the ghetto. That's where all the, you know, the low budget people that are living where everybody was going back then, which is more housing. But, um, but where is it now, though? Like, where do you guys have all these episodes on YouTube? Yeah. Yep, we put it on YouTube, and so we want to get. <clears throat> yep, with our 2K back score. But the reason we put it on YouTube is because we wanted to try and promote R2K's channel, because we want to put out music videos, and he has live performances already. So that was our idea for Yeah, just a good show. A little exposure yeah. for myself. Yep. How'd you get involved with the Battle Axe Global? What's your story there? <laughs> uh, I know it was basically something that was developed from what we started that was basically, how do you say it? It was, it was a game in the beginning. We took the, the battle axe and, and built the fan base, built the fan club. See, uh, try to build a family of, uh, well, they think they were going to get off because, you know, we had, we had that yet. Why wouldn't you take this famous person, this famous kid, this amazing fucking king of the underground, uh, of Canada underground hip hop, and put him on the pedestal? And get all these crazy fucking kids, young ladies and young guys, everybody that loved his music as he was, and possibly still is, a fucking amazing artist. The artist, the, this hip hop culture is saturated. Back then, 20 years ago, it was. You know, they had the last two years of the opportunity of selling albums until that fucking died. Yeah. And nobody was, that's why we have all these fucking concerts. They didn't understand why we're having all these concerts because these fucking artists ain't making money selling fucking great artists, CDs. Yeah. They're making money selling merchandise and tickets. Yeah. They gotta sell out the shows. I mean, you go to a Metallica concert, you see how much merchandise we're going to fucking sell down there? Holy shit. <laughs> big money, big money, big money. Just off the merchandise. 
because that's what people want when they go to a show. They want to remember that show. Yeah. That's fuck, you ought to be saying, so what do you say? They want a piece of merchandise. Yeah. And that's what the people are doing now, they're up on their merch day. I mean, I was in the Rada and uh, um, Speed Camp, you know, Mayor Split, Evo, and Oski. They were down there, they had the Rebel Hippies involved, Abe involved, you know, being part of Valor, local family and everything. All the members were down there, but their merch game was fucking pumped from house sprays to fucking rolling papers, t shirts, <laughs> the baseball caps or jackets, the fucking sweatpants. You know, it was something there for you to buy. Yeah, yeah. So you remember the show, so you see you see State Camp, right? And that project there is oh, amazing. Uh, but anyway, we, now we have the movement. Yeah. So we had that package. We sold over 1,700 little packages. But we had issues everywhere. You know, there were some guys thinking it was a gang, some guys, you know, I don't know, representing the vision in the wrong way. But we took the best that we had seen. And we started building the games. You know, with uh, with, with the brothers Grin, Pat and Tom, the suspects in Ontario, Split Evil and Ad Lib, Pennsylvania, Fizzle, fucking New York, Sharky down Nevada, now Seattle, G Life Utah, and myself we formed the commission. Some people don't believe what the fuck we got here, by the way, guys. Some yeah. people don't look, they're looking at this fucking badge and saying there's something behind this back. They don't think there's people that do what we're doing. They think we're full of shit, eh? <laughs> so you remember that? We're being watched all the fucking time. Oh, I, I hear you. Yep. We're being watched all the fucking time, you guys. At the end of the day, we're going to show the world that we have done that by becoming members. You guys know that, negative members. That negative members that line out. You guys don't know that. And they go on fucking Facebook and they curse. <laughs> I really bad last because they blah blah blah. Fuck like, my fucking nut nut. Fucking whiner. We will say nothing when we ask them to leave. They got to go in there and look at shit and keep the shit and, and then we call the right back. Come on, man. It's just, man. Yeah, it's a scam. It's a money grab. How the fuck is that like global money grab? Well, first of all, you can't buy a package. For now on, you can't buy a package. You need to turn up with the vision. You need to prove yourself. Okay, so those things are over. At the end of the day, we're not asking you, we're not begging you to buy the package anyway. So, and how do you money that? When you do join Global, you're recognized. Right? You recognize. And when you spend the membership fee to buy your own merchandise so you can carry the fucking Global tops and everything, we have a great fucking package for our members when we charge. It's an amazing package. Four, three, four dollars. Well, this is family, just like our works game. We don't crank it up to the fucking money. We, we buy it. We sell it to our members. We add a few dollars on top so we can use that money to build a website. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, maybe help out our artists. You know, when we start making good money on selling our merchandise all across the world, it's going to be all advertised on our website. And then also, you know, and then I also have a design I'm going to present to the board probably in about six months of a, of a patch, just a patch. It's not a big patch. It's between the size of the girls and the size of ours. And all we're going to sell is going to be a patch. Battle Axe Global. Ours of all forms. The world in the middle with a fucking axe to it. Okay? <laughs> and that would be something that we offer to all the fucking fans out there yeah. that want to support what we do. Right on, that's and a good idea. There, oh, and the thing is, we make that kind of as funny as, you know, some of these stores and some of the art forms, I mean, come on, when the guys are racing around with their bikes, yeah. you need money for those things break down. Yeah. You know, you need sponsorships and stuff like that. That's what Google's going to try to do. And with a couple hundred bucks, it's a couple hundred bucks, so it was nothing before. You know, with the club being that time, the guy shot him 500 bucks with Google to help him for his uh, championship fight. He wore our trunks, he carried our flag, he won. You know, so he presented Battle Axe, but he, he reached out. Battle Axe, the movement is part of history now. It's respected, but it's over. And now Battle Axe Global and the fact that we're going to build of all art forms, yeah. all art forms are invited to this website to be on our forum and, and spread positive vibes of different art forms, MMA, motocross, snowboard, and 
platform here is just so that we can put those positive things that our members are doing out there. So take the time. is another idea for another episode so that'll be a good chance for you to come back Sharing some stories, getting to know the artist a little better. And uh, big shout out to my boy Josh Walner. Yeah. Big shout out to Colton Stapley for hooking us up with Rocco tonight. And so also on top of that, we don't want to forget Rocco was talking about the merchandising thing. We're wearing these t-shirts for a reason. These are still on sale. Yeah, our DL Kelly will be yeah. the guy you want to contact. We got or Josh too, you can call Josh about it. But these t-shirts that we're wearing, they're only $10. Yeah. So if you're really interested in a Battle Axe t-shirt, this is Saskatchewan, the crest is right there. We'll put see. some links below. You can find our picture, up, our updated uh, picture division there. division t-shirts, more of a hot seller. It's a little more pricey. And then, of course, there's my shirt. Yeah, we do have Help me pay too. for this album coming home. That's what the money's gonna go to, and I'm only gonna sell the album for what it costs to make. I'm not really gonna make more money than that. We're falling apart in here! Yeah, falling apart, we gotta get going. <laughs> There's an earthquake in Cut Knife. <laughs> so that we'll try and close it out. The links will be below, and yeah. we'll put the pictures as well. So everything will all be below with Rocco's information. And please, guys, anybody out there all over the world, reach out to us. We'll get you involved. We'll get you sitting here with us hanging out. We'll have a BS session, get to know you a little better, get to know your story, and uh, give you guys a platform to share your art of all forms. Yeah. With that, we have to go rebuild the studio. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. See you next Thursday.